Alrighty, so today I am going to just be waxing my hairy self. So my cat put Taylor eyebrows and my stash. It's been a while since I've waxed my eyebrows or my lip. Like, I think it's probably been about... Definitely before Jack was born. I think it's been almost a year since I've waxed my eyebrows and my lip. I've just like let the hair go like I did not care about grooming myself or really taking care of myself and that's kind of the whole postpartum depression bullshit uh, not a lot of people talk about it so I figure why not be open and talk to you guys about it with me and yeah you guys seem to really like me opening up about it and talking about it and not being shy about it so yeah, taking care of myself has kind of been non-existent. If you guys hear crying, Jack's upstairs trying to get him to go to sleep and it's like 10.30 and he's been in bed since about 7.30, 8 o'clock. He's been passing out and then waking up again, falling asleep and waking up. So it's just been a terrible, terrible few hours trying to get him to sleep. Yeah, grooming and taking care of myself has been put on hold and I know it's not supposed to, it's just like, I just don't care. But, figure my brows and my lip have gotten kind of crazy and I want to kind of push myself to get back into the groove of everything, so why not start with waxing my hairy face. So the wax that I like to use is this Parissa Body Sugar. I get it at Walmart. It's nice and cheap, it's washable, it's for sensitive skin, like you can even eat it. It's like honey and sugar and shit. It's edible, eatable, you can eat it. It's super natural, but I'm gonna use it on my face. That's what I've been using for years, like ever since like grade nine when I started waxing my eyebrows a lot. Like, you know, those like pinstripe brows where like, they're, oh, they're just terrible, terrible, terrible brows in the 90s. <laughs> they were horrible. But I'm gonna wax my brows and just show you guys my routine because I am lacking on my grooming. First off, I like to just make sure all the oil is off my face. So I'm going to start with my brows and my unibrow. And I'm just going to wipe that off with a nice damp cloth and just make sure all the oil is off so that all the hairs come out. I went ahead and cut up these strips that come in it. It's like these little cloth fabric-y things that you just wax and put it on, rip it off and throw it out. I like thin ones for my brows and thick ones for my lip. And I've got this little tongue stick, you know, like, when doctors check when you're sick, got this for the brows. And this is what the sugar comes in to do. But yeah, I just heat it up in the microwave for like 15 seconds and then it's like this gummy, gooey consistency. Kind of like warmed up honey yeah so then i go ahead and i take what i want on this make sure it's not too much because i don't want to take my brows completely off that would be horrendous because i don't have much brows to begin with that's why i don't wax them very much because my brows are fairly thin but i get a few little random hair hairs here and there and in the middle so yeah Let's start with the unibrow. So I just take what I need and apply it here. I like to go right across, but I only do half at a time so I don't, it doesn't hurt when I rip it off of my skin. Pop that on and then I just gently rub up and down so it like smushes into the hairs and it gets all on the piece of fabric and it's all nice. Once I can kind of feel it getting sticky through the cloth, then I know it's time to rip. And I go against the hair growth. So pull my skin up a bit and rip down. And then I got 
some nice little chunks of hair there. You want to see this nasty shit? Get that shit off my face. It's not going to be a good night. Sorry if this is not interesting to you. If it is, awesome. I love that. If not, I am very sorry that I am wasting your time and feel free to watch another video. Ow, that one hurt. Man, I was hairy. Ugh. Gross. Ugh. And I go along very slowly along my brow. So, I don't like to put too much product on it. I like to put just enough, like a nice thin layer, because if you put too much, it'll smoosh it up into your brow, like it'll spread out when you do the rubbing part. And I was like in grade 10, I think. And when I smushed it out, I took like half my eyebrow off because it smushed right out into my actual brow. And I don't have much brow to begin with, so yeah. That sucked for like two months before my brow started to grow again. <laughs> Pull against. And there is some more nasty hair. That's gross. I swear that kid will cry for like 45 minutes if I would just let him, but I can't let him scream that long. It's just ridiculous. Like, if I screamed that long, I would have a serious headache, so I can only tolerate him crying for like 10, 15 minutes tops. And then either me or Matt has to go in there and calm him down. But he hasn't been like this, crying like this for like, I think the last time he did this was about a month ago. He's been pretty good, but he just decided tonight that he wanted to be rude and not want to go to sleep. So I feel like I got a very, very terrible night in front of me with him. If you guys have any tips on how to help me with Jack and sleep training and all that stuff, I would love to hear it. Like, I've tried just putting him down, giving him a binky, giving him a bottle. I've tried the whole staying in the room. I've tried shushing, like sh shushing him. That doesn't work either. Like, I've tried the sound machine, I've tried the like little star light system thing. Nothing is working to help him just pass right out. He'll just sit there and scream, chew on the side of the crib, and just scream until he tires himself out. Then I have to go up there and boob him and then he falls asleep. Like he doesn't even want to eat. He just literally gets my nipple in his mouth maybe sucks for at least like 10 seconds and then he's like Ugh. and it's like oh caitlin why don't you just go in there and do that as soon as he starts crying and then he'll go right to sleep because it's like teaching him that if he cries for that long and i give him my boob there you go mission accomplished it just i want him to self-soothe and be able to do it on his own but yeah, I don't know. So if you have any tips, I would love to hear it because I'm going mental. <laughs> that is some hairy, hairy lip. And then, oh, this is painful. Oh, mother trucker. I have really let myself go, wow. That's gross. Can you guys like see the hairs in there? It's gross. If I turn it to the side, you might be able to see better. Like, look at all those roots. Look at all that. Right there. Oh my gosh, Jackson, please just go to sleep. Wow. Oh, ho, ho. well, there we go. 
That is how I wax my lip and my brows. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe to my channel to watch more and more. And turn on the notifications so you don't miss any future uploads. Notifications is super important because a bunch of you guys don't get notified that I've just uploaded a video and then my videos don't get views. So make sure that you hit that bell button to turn them on and watch my videos. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, stay beautiful, okay? Bye.